You're watching Lookies from the BBC. Coming up, a shaggy dog story. Question, what do you do if the TV gets boring? You find out an old recording of Look East, I know. Uh, remember <laughs> when you actually had to get up to change the channels? Now we can't imagine life without the old remote control. Experts say it won't be long before computers take control, learn from our behaviour and change things in our homes automatically. Now the attention of scientists from around the world is being focused on Essex. Fire's doctor has trained this artificial intelligence system like a pet. Now it responds automatically to his behavior. It's learnt when he sits on the sofa, it's time to change the lights and start the film. It's early days, but the system has extraordinary potential. In the far future, of course, we can think about these uh, space habitats that actually need to control these environments and, con and support the lives of the people inside them and uh, sort of balance the integrate, integrate um, uh, sort of systems in there. And so um, these systems would be appropriate for those kind of things as well. You control the computer using this mouse, but you could use a mobile phone with internet capabilities or a palm top. Even the fridge will have a mind of its own. Everything in the fridge will be tagged. And this orange juice, for example, really not much left. When I pop it back in, the fridge should be able to sense that and it could even place an order for another one from your local supermarket. Computers lurk behind the walls with the potential to control every electrical appliance inside. Already you can sit in the lounge and alter the lighting and heating in the study. In the future, computers will be able to sense your exact position within the flat and do things like switch off lights when you leave a room. This flat, for example, will learn your everyday behavior. That, for example, before arriving, to, uh, when you are driving back home, you want uh, uh, cattle to be on and you want your, your food to be ready for you. More of this will save you a lot of money on your bill, on your gas and electricity bill, because it will, besides maximizing your comfort and making sure that you are happy, it will also try to uh, minimize the energy at the same time. This flat is a world-class testing center. Before, we've asked technology to carry out a specific job. Here, they're asking it to interact with humans and constantly change to suit us. Computers seem up to the job, but whether we can cope living in a house that they control is another matter. Rachel Dane, BBC Look East, Colchester. I like the idea of a flat that makes you want to be happy. It's a bit spooky to me. Um, in the last decade, there's been a massive boom in...